What's up you guys, my name is Hutch, I make videos, put them on the internet, and as a YouTuber, every once in a while, developers and publishers and studios will come to us and say, hey, do you want to help us promote this game? And, uh, and uh, hopefully that YouTuber does their homework, sees if the game is good, plays it themselves, and then agrees or disagreed. I was offered uh, a chance to help promote this game, which is called The Walking Dead No Man's Land. So full disclosure, this is a sponsored video, I am getting paid for this video right here, but uh, if you stick around, I think that you might enjoy what you find. So this game is a top-down strategy game in the same vein of a lot of games that I grew up with and some games that I played uh, more recently. It has story mode, it has uh, side missions as well, and it has a PvP mode. And I'll get into, um, mainly I'm gonna talk today about the story mission and the, uh, the PvP aspect of this game. I guess I should mention that this is a free-to-play game. I don't know why I didn't mention that in the first place, but you can play this on Android and iOS. As far as I know, uh, but yeah, the game opens up and you're this kind of like ragtag group of survivors wandering around, and then you run into Daryl Dixon, I think his name is from the show. I watched the first two seasons of the show. I stopped watching uh, it around season three and four, and then I just started getting back into it again recently, and uh, things are popping off. But if I don't know all these characters' names, please please forgive me. But you do run into Daryl. He takes you to this encampment, uh, or he takes you to this camp. Uh, and at that at this camp you set up all these structures that help you throughout the game So you can set up a supply post you can set up a ditch that catches all the walkers trying to come in You set up a, a training grounds area to make all the guys that you collect uh, Better there's a weapons kind of um, Improvement area like a workbench or something to make them better. So there's a lot of um, like leveling up in this game You do feel like you're making progress uh, uh, in pretty tangible ways I guess one way to describe this game for someone who maybe like hasn't played a lot of strategy games and maybe like if you've just played chess in your life, imagine playing a game of chess but in this game you could call in different pieces from different boards and this, these different pieces have uh, maybe spe uh, like special abilities depending on their rarity and the weapons they have can be upgraded too so you can like instead of being able to just move the bishop diagonal you'd be able to upgrade it to go uh, front and back as well that's a really kind of strange analogy but it does work for our purposes in this video the leveling portion of the game and how you upgrade your characters and weapons and outposts and things like that is like really super addicting and it works really well it, I've, I've, I've said it before but I'm just like a loot fanatic if you give me any if you give me like a walking simulator as long as there's a little bit of loot to pick up on the way and a way to level up my character, I'll probably be, be entertained for a little bit. That's obviously an exaggeration. I would like to do more than walking. I would like to do The Walking Dead. It's a really stupid joke. The PvP aspect of this game works like, okay, so you, so as you're setting up outposts and collecting resources, people can actually attack your outpost and they run into walkers and then they also have um, your characters which are there defending your outposts which they control uh, so as you can see I just ran into his entire team down there I'm completely under leveled and unprepared to play PvP at the moment I tried but I'm I am not good at it it's frustrating and it makes me want to keep playing and get to get better but I'm not very good at it as you guys can see uh, by what's happening on the screen but if you're successful in taking down their flags and raiding their um, little loot boxes, then you can actually make out with quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of good stuff. Um, and yeah, I found this I found this portion of the game like really, really, really challenging. This is gonna be have to be this is gonna have to be something that I come back to later uh, when I get the fundamentals of the game down um, a little bit more than what I have now. But it is very enjoyable. And that's the basic gist of this game, guys. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video if you want to check it out once again for free. Uh, and yeah, thanks for sticking around and watching this sponsored video. I really do try and pick games that I enjoy and that I and, and games that I think you guys enjoy. If I ever suggest something to you that you don't enjoy, let me know. I, that hasn't happened. I usually feel I feel like I have a really good track record of picking games that um, people would actually want to play for these sort of things. So um, yeah, links in the description. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye bye.